Welcome to the 75th Annual Makeup Games! Wink! Today I'm going to be showing you a look that represents one of my favorite characters from Catching Fire, Joanna. Um, she's a really kick-ass, fierce lady from District 7, Lumber. She wields an axe and she is not afraid to cut you. This is the makeup I use to do this look. So the first thing we're gonna start with, the first thing we always start with is, I couldn't remember what it's called, eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna prime things. And this is a just Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. I'm just dabbing that all around. Dab it on up. I'm also gonna use a little bit of this shadow work um, primer because it's shiny. I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, right on the um, corner of her eye. You know, double priming. I don't think there's any makeup science to that. I'm just making stuff up. There's a little science to everything in my life. We're gonna start off with a look that's similar to um, to the look that her, the Joanna stylist puts her in for the sort of parade and to go on Caesar show. And um, it's a very sort of gold look with crazy eyelashes. But the sort of concept of the look is that Joanna sort of hated wearing that. And immediately after the show, she strips it off. So uh, the second part of this look is going to sort of be as if Joanna had stripped it all off and wanted to put on whatever she wanted to wear. And so I'm going to start off, this is a Tarte palette. I'm going to start off with this gold color and just sort of do a really um, even coating of gold across the eye. So she talked about how she hated the look because they always do trees. She's from the Lumber District. Yeah. If you were the stylist for the Lumber District, what would you do? She didn't even look like a tree to me in the look I Yeah, did. she just looked sort of vogue. Well, it was like wood yeah, colors. Wood. I don't know, like syrup? So I am also going to pull up my Urban Decay Mariposa palette. There's this little color called Limelight, which seems sort of applicable. And I'm going to uh, use that right in sort of the um, corner of the eye, sort of an orangey gold. And now I'm going to use a little bit of Makeup Forever Professionals Gold, and I'm going to uh, use a little bit of that in the corners as well, too. Um, but like a very sparing amount, because it's um, it's not an orangey gold; it's a pretty yellowy gold. It's, it's almost like gold leaf. <laughs> I almost poked your eyes out. <laughs> like both of them. It's getting like. A little too much like the Hunger Games up here. I could not imagine you killing people. Yeah. I don't think. I would be one of those people that would probably like sit up in a tree and hide until, until it's all over. Yeah. yeah I'd or like do that just too. put myself up in the front and just <laughs> die quickly. And you, you guys, if, if the Hunger Games actually happen, someone volunteer for Tara. I'm sorry. Be my tribute. Let me know in the comments if you would volunteer for me. No comments. <laughs> no, no, no comments. No, no one. Yeah. No one says yes. So this is sort of um, the base of the gold look, and this is where we're branching out into sort of what- uh, Ah! Oh, branching oh, out! Oh, tree lumber. And we're gonna go back to the Urban Decay Mariposa uh, palette. We're going to dip right into this color called Infamous, and it's this great magenta. And I chose magenta because it's this like crazy bold color, and also because the streaks in our hair and the sort of promo pictures um, our magenta, even though in the book it says she has short spiky brown hair. <laughs> We're going to uh, just start laying that on right in the corner, not corner, corner of the eye? I don't know, I don't know eye geography. You don't need a map of the world to travel it, do you? <laughs> Put that on the t-shirt. And so I'm going to dip into Rockstar, which is a purpley color, to uh, give some depth to the corner of the eye because the um, infamous can be so light. The one on a friend's face, you know, without warning. It's the Hunger Games, prepare yourself. Bring it in the magenta, however much I want to bring it in. I don't know. Joanna would just do what she wants, and it's so true. I'm just doing what I want. I think I'm gonna go in actually with the same purple and magenta and lay it on a little thicker. I just want it a little darker in the corner of the eyes. I'm going back in with Rockstar. I'm going back to magenta because it's going a little purple. So I'm going to now skip ahead. I, I didn't skip anything, but just skip ahead to this uh, eyeliner. That's what it's called. This is called Crash. 
and I'm not clever enough to tie it to the Hunger Games, so Tara's going to do that while I start lining her eyes. I'm just going to sort of lightly line the, they crashed the system a little. And this is sort of a purplish eye color, urban decay, and I'm just going to lightly line the, um, the base of her eye line, I guess is what it's called. If you could look up, please, I'm just going to bring it around town. Not very much, maybe a blank quarter inch in. Lining people's eyes is really difficult. Now, I forgot a step. Not really, but now it's time. Now it's time for a step. So now, um, before we get to the rest of the um, eyeliner, because there's more, we're going to darken her, uh, her brows very slightly with this color called Spotlight. Um, a tip that I once heard about darkening your eyebrows is to choose a color that is lighter than your eyebrows instead of darker. Really? To darken them. And then I'm gonna go through with one of my favorite products, the e.l.f. Uh, Wet Gloss uh, Lash and Brow Mascara. And brush it through to control and shape the brows. Because when you're in the Hunger Games, you want your brows under control. Joanna has brown spiky hair in the books and also has sort of a spiky personality but we love her. And so inspired by this, and then also inspired by the crazy long lashes that she has in her um, in her capital look, I'm gonna make a crazy long spiky wing. And so I'm not going to do this eyeliner across the whole eye. This is a uh, Urban Decay waterproof, um, like brown. I'm gonna start at the corner of the eye and draw out the wing. I'm gonna start at the corner. And do the first line. Oops. I mean, perfect. Probably like, I don't know, what is that? A half an inch or something like that? Three quarters of an inch? Sort of uh, toward the brow. I'm gonna start then from the bottom and draw up. And I'm sort of like filling in the triangle. Like I'm making a little triangle and like a wing. You gotta know your shapes. And sort of just fill in anything and bring it, uh, bring it to be sort of flush with the eyeliner. And you know, it, oh, it's not perfect. That's fine because, you know, we're all, all beautiful, and beautiful in our own way. And then so, um, so it's not just a normal wing. What we're going to do is we're going to create another little spike that spikes down um, as sort of a bottom lash spike. And that one's going to be a shorter, more violent spike. So, um, the final steps are just sort of making the face look awesome. I'm going to use this sort of dark-ish um, blush color to uh, contour right under the cheeks to bring out the cheekbones. And then I'm going to use this light pink color right here, sort of a light pink rose to very gently brush at the apples. And Finally, Joanna's lips are not that intense, so I wanted to go with sort of a sparkly nude lip gloss, and this is Smashbox Lip Enhancing Gloss Brilliance. Uh, that's, <laughs> I started ripping into the French, <laughs> so uh, just lip enhancing gloss. And I'm going to put this on her lips. It's a very uh, sophisticated process. Sort of creating a nude lip, a nude shine, shiny lip. And you know, Joanna knows a couple things about being nude. Wink. <laughs> you can't you say wink. <laughs> I have to say wink so people know I'm winking. And we are done. So if you'd like to complete your Joanna look, you can um, talk to your nearest stylist and have them create a lumber inspired outfit for you. Or you can just wear something that complements the colors like I am today. Um, you can accessorize with uh, Mockingjay jewelry because even though Joanna is fierce and from a different district, she does want to help out the overall Mockingjay cause, which is pretty cool. Or you could just go naked. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, definitely tell us what you think we should do next in the comments. Bye. Bye.